Hi Church and welcome to day 12 of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. I pray that you're growing stronger and stronger in your faith and that you feel closer and closer to Jesus, that you know his presence all around you as we spend time praying and calling upon him. Today we're going to be praying for a love for our families, that, that God would increase our love for our families. And today we're going to be reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, the chapter of love. And this is what it says in verse 4 to 5. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It's not irritable and it keeps no record of being wrong. Today we're going to be praying for our families, that God would increase our love for our families. You know, the ultimate example of that is our Lord Jesus Christ. He shows us what real love is. And this passage describes what real, true, biblical love is. And we're going to be praying for our families today, that we would be love our families, that we would honour our families, that we wouldn't be irritable, you know, especially when we're living with our families. You know, sometimes we can get in each other's way. We can get on each other's nerves. But let's pray for our families today, that God will protect our families, that he will bless our families, and that we will grow closer. You know, this year we've had an opportunity, unlike any other because of the pandemic, where last year and even now, right now we're in the lockdown, that we've had this opportunity to spend time with our families like we haven't before. And let's thank God for this opportunity in, in, the, in the year that's been filled with pain. Let's thank God for the joy of that, that we've been able to draw close to our families. And let's pray for fresh love for our families. But maybe you're watching this today and maybe your home life and your family life isn't diff it is difficult. It's not all rosy and it's not all happy. It's not a great place. Maybe it's a difficult place. We well, pray today that God would give you a love for your family. Instead of cursing your family, instead of, you know, moaning and complaining about your family and the difficulties. Instead, ask God to replace that, the hardness and that pain with love today. May he soften your heart that you would pray for your family and grow in a love for your family because love conquers all as it says here in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. So let's pray for that today. Amen. Lord Jesus, we just thank you for our families, Lord Jesus, the family in which you have placed us in, Lord God. Lord, we're so grateful for them, Lord God. And I pray today that you would bless all of our family members, Lord God. Lord, help them today, strengthen them, guide them today, Lord. Provide for them today, I pray in Jesus' name. And give us a fresh love for our families, Lord. May we not take our families for granted, Lord Jesus. But Lord, may we say thank you every day for the family in which you have placed us in. Lord, I pray for all those who are watching online today. And home life and family life is difficult. I pray in Jesus' name, Lord God, that you'll bring about reconciliation, that you'll bring about forgiveness and healing, Lord God, to that which sin has broken, Lord God. Lord, bring about restoration today in families, I pray. And Lord God, help all those who are watching online with difficult family situations. Help them, Lord God. Fill them with your love for their families today. You reunite families, I pray, in Jesus' mighty name. And Lord, we want to say thank you for the spiritual family, which we are a part of and can be a part of, all because of you, Lord Jesus. We want to say thank you for that today. We're part of the family of God. We're not on our own today. No, we have brothers and sisters who are there with us, standing by us, who love you and serve you. I want to say thank you for every one of my spiritual brothers and sisters today. Lord, I thank you that we're part of the family of God today. And that you're our Lord and Savior and our Heavenly Father. Lord, we say thank you for that. And we give you praise today. Amen. Amen. Well, I want to th say thank you for joining me today for day 12 of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. Day 13 is coming, so join me again tomorrow, 12 o'clock, Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. And please keep praying over all of these different prayer targets and believe that God will bring about breakthrough and answer to prayer in your life and in the life of our church as well. See you tomorrow. Have a great day. God bless.